Today, we're talking about CrowdStrike, a company that's become the largest holding in my portfolio and why I think CrowdStrike is positioned to be one of the most important companies over the next decade. Hey everybody, welcome back to Dollars and Cents, helping you make sense of making dollars. Remember, if you enjoy the informational investing content on this channel, to like and subscribe. Don't forget that I also have a Discord which you can join if you want to ask any questions or just hang out with fellow community members. With that, let's get right into it. If you've never heard of CrowdStrike, then you've got your head in the clouds, the digital cloud, and it's doing its job. The company is a cloud-based data security platform with one goal, to stop breaches. If you go onto the CrowdStrike website, the first thing you can see is in big bold letters, we stop so you can go. The company was started with this very straightforward goal. And now we're gonna let CEO George Kurtz introduce you to CrowdStrike. I'm George Kurtz, CEO of CrowdStrike, a leading cybersecurity company. Organizations around the world have told us how frustrated they are with their security solutions, how difficult they are to install and keep updated, and how ineffective they are at stopping attacks. At CrowdStrike, we found a new way forward. We built a security platform powered by artificial intelligence and delivered from the cloud, protecting computers and servers against sophisticated data theft and ransomware. It's fast, easy to manage, and it actually works. We're a high profile team with a very high profile brand. We take our security very seriously. I don't need to be a cybersecurity expert. Having a company like CrowdStrike, knowing that we're protected. CrowdStrike doesn't drop a technology and walk away. CrowdStrike is embedded within your organization. They understand the deployment and they're watching your back. That's what technology is supposed to do for you. CrowdStrike, headquartered in Sunnyvale, California, helping enterprise to small businesses stop breaches globally. CrowdStrike aims to bring online security to the 21st century. In order to do that, we have to look at the very problem the company is trying to solve. Currently, the state of online security is, well, pretty terrible in the US. All you have to do is look at any of the recent hacks in the US, most recently with the SolarWinds hack. Hackers installed malicious software on the SolarWinds security platform Orion, and customers who installed Orion unknowingly installed the malware. As far as we know, nine federal agencies and 100 private companies were hacked and had significant amounts of data stolen. Linked in the description is an article that details some of the hacks in 2020, and oh boy, there's a lot. Much of today's security technology is not only on-premise, or on the company's physical campus, say like McAfee is on your computer, but it's severely behind the times. Two major challenges the companies face are the inflexibility of on-premise security and the inability to stop new attacks, both of which CrowdStrike seeks to solve with their services. On-premise security needs to be constantly maintained and updated in order to be effective. You'll only know about a virus if it's in the on-premises security server's database. If it's a new virus, well, high chance you're out of luck. However, if a company uses CrowdStrike instead, all of the latter's servers are available on its Falcon platform through the cloud where they are maintained by CrowdStrike's team. The company then doesn't have to worry about getting someone on campus to update and maintain the servers in-house. CrowdStrike does it for them. The second challenge is that most security technology severely lacks. Most of it just can't keep up with the fast changing digital landscape. Most of them are really only capable of stopping known malware attacks, ones in their databases. Like I said, if there's a new malware attacking your data, chances are it might go undetected long enough to cause serious damage. CrowdStrike's solution to that though is to stop anything foreign and malicious, known about or not, through Falcon. Over the past few years, CrowdStrike's software has gotten better and better. In fact, this is where the name comes from. Initially, I thought this company was called CloudStrike because, you know, it makes sense. Security through the cloud, and so on. But as I dug into their business more and more, I found out the reason for the CrowdStrike name. They're crowdsourcing security to strike back against online threats. Crowdsourcing is the act of gathering information from a large number of people or sources. As CrowdStrike gathers more and more customers using its Falcon platform, its AI gathers more and more information and becomes better at detecting threats. This, I believe, sets them apart from most other cybersecurity companies offered today. Before we move on to talk about CrowdStrike's potential for growth, let's talk about CEO George Kurtz. Hailing from the Great Garden State, Kurtz founded his own cybersecurity company Foundstone in 1999 after a brief stint at Price Waterhouse. After his success, he later sold Foundstone to McAfee for $86 million. And at McAfee, Kurtz took on the role of head of risk management and then later worldwide technology officer until he resigned in 2000. 
2011. He felt that technology wasn't evolving fast enough to keep up with the new digital threats around the world, and founded CrowdStrike with Dmitry Petrovich and Greg Marston. To me, George Kurtz is exactly the kind of person needed to lead this new way forward for cybersecurity. He's actively worked in the field, he's passionate about it, and he fights for protecting online privacy. He's not just another bureaucratic CEO making poor decisions that stunt innovation. Now that we have a brief overview of the company and its CEO, I would like to go over CrowdStrike's explosive growth over the past few years. CrowdStrike started in 2011 after Kurtz left McAfee and joined forces with these guys. Here's some data from 2018 to 2020 just to give you an idea of their rapid growth. As you can see, CrowdStrike's revenue stood right around $120 million. Just a year later in 2019, it shot up to $250 million. Again, in 2020, it nearly doubled landing at a whopping $480 million. CrowdStrike's annual recurring revenue also still grows at an astounding rate too. In quarter one of 2018, it grew from $71 million to $365 million in quarter one of 2020. Along with this impressive growth, they've managed to pull in some massive companies as customers. You can check out some of them on this chart. Some of the larger companies CrowdStrike services include ADP, the company that handles most, if not all, of the payrolls for US workers. Sony, the tech Giant and Shutterstock. Two more of CrowdStrike's big clients not featured on this graphic are Goldman Sachs and Credit Suisse, the fifth and 34th largest banks in the US. If these huge institutions trust this up and coming cybersecurity company, I think they must be doing something right. Okay, now we're gonna hop on to Morningstar to take a closer look at CrowdStrike. First, we see it listed as a $48 billion by market cap company. Here, its forward PE ratio is 833. This is slightly above the market average of 20, so not really a great sign there. I mentioned their financials more in depth earlier, but it's worth taking another brief look at the revenue here on the graph. 2020's revenue stands at 480 million, up from 2019's 250, and even greater than 2018's revenue of 120. Again, crazy growth. Their assets grew from 220 million in 2018 to 1.4 billion in 2020. These assets are greater than their liabilities, which are 660 million. Finally, CrowdStrike's free cash flow is $10 million. Basically, they're a profitable company, even after all of its expenses are subtracted. And they are a profitable company for the first time ever. Very nice to see. Overall, I think this company is in a great place financially going into 2020. There isn't a lot of debt, and they are increasing their revenue at a solid pace. Plus, being a profitable tech company is a big bonus as well. What's good for any business to thrive beside, you know, money? Competition. In this last section, I want to look at CrowdStrike's two main competitors, McAfee and Microsoft. It's actually kind of funny and somewhat ironic that McAfee is one of CrowdStrike's competitors. However, McAfee currently has several advantages over CrowdStrike. We'll look at one for this video. One advantage is that McAfee has an already established large customer base. I could literally just say McAfee and most people know what it is without any explanation. It's become a household name over the years. Most people and companies could be more inclined to go with an established company with a longer history than CrowdStrike has and over 500 million people use McAfee already. The second of CrowdStrike's competitors has to be Microsoft. Not only is it a household name with a longer history, enormous customer base, and farther reach, Microsoft's had even more time developing its cybersecurity platforms and even more money to do it. We're talking about a multi-billion dollar company here. They can afford to offer their products, established, new, whatever, at cheaper prices. CrowdStrike isn't that big, nor does it have that kind of money. But remember, CrowdStrike is young, it's got time to grow, and it's headed by a leader who's deeply passionate about digital security and innovative. And who doesn't love a good underdog story? As I wrap up this video, I have one more graphic to show you. This is from CrowdStrike's quarter four earnings report. I think it perfectly sums up what this company is trying to do. CrowdStrike strives to revolutionize the way we think about cybersecurity, routing everything through the cloud and using AI learning to stop any potentially harmful activity is an innovative idea with the potential to make the digital landscape a little safer for everyone. I certainly believe CrowdStrike can become the next major cloud service provider, ranking with the greats like Salesforce, Workday, and ServiceNow, and maybe even become bigger than McAfee and up there with Microsoft for cybersecurity too. Currently, CrowdStrike's market cap stands at $48 billion. 
but I truly believe this could very well surge to 100 billion over the next two years. We can already see indicators of CrowdStrike's growth just by looking at the 2018 to 2020 revenues. As it gains more recognition by the public, stays true to its goals and innovative processes, gets more high-profile clients, and is able to lower costs, CrowdStrike can continue to grow into the next major tech company. Because of these reasons, I really like CrowdStrike and its potential. For now, it shall remain as my largest holding. Of course, I'm no expert and you should definitely do your own research before investing in CrowdStrike or any other company. I just hope that I could give you some information in this video. And with that, I hope to see all of you in the next episode of Dollars and Cents.